As online shopping becomes the norm, the benefits are tremendous, but this new reality creates a lot of problems, as customers are often unable to accurately predict their size, leading to body image issues and obviously returns and dissatisfaction. But it doesn't have to be that way. Meet My Size, a startup that provides accurate measurement tech to measure clothes so that customers will know exactly what size they truly are. And here to tell us more about it is My Size's founder and CEO, Ronen Luzon from My Size. Welcome. Thank you very much. So let's jump right in. What exactly does My Size do? So we started back in 2014, where we established a company as a publicly traded company that today is traded on Tel Aviv and on Nasdaq stock market. And what we've done is we took the mobile phone as a device and used its sensors that we can measure the distance the phone is traveling just by moving it from one place to another. So we're not using the camera or any other external sensors. Just when you move the phone over your chest to measure your circumference or your waist or your inseam, we can measure them just by moving the phone over your body. So we're using this technology that we have four patents on it, and we're, using, we're working with the retailers, and then we do the matchmaking between what your actual size is and what's the, the size chart of the retailer, that we can tell you what your size in Nike and what your size in Zara, or what's your suit you need when you go, sorry, when you're going online to buy any other clothes that you want, and that we actually uh, eliminate the issue when you struggling to understand your size in different retailers and in different brands. And that's a major issue when you're going online today. That's a major issue because I could be a size, you know, zero in one store, size two in another store, size 10 here, a size 12 there. Especially so with the Vanity sizing that today more and more retailers are using. Yeah, So suddenly exactly. you're, you're size minus two or XXS, but what? I've never been there. So yes, yeah, that's an issue. Yeah, absolutely. And so let's talk about the <clears throat> fashion industry. First of all, we're moving more and more towards online shopping. Right. And that creates a lot of problems as well. Can you maybe elaborate on that? Yeah, so online shopping today, you find more and more. First, on online shopping, you, cannot me you, you can't measure. You can't feel the clothes itself. So that causes you, us as consumers, when we, starting to, when we want to buy something, we have actually three question marks over our head. If we want to buy it or not, our confidence level is quite uh, uh, a low. So we're thinking about if we like this item if it will fit us, and what size do we need to buy that specific item. Mm -hmm. So it causes us either not to buy the item because we don't know this, or we're buying two or three items, especially if, you, if, if you're a resident in the US or in Europe where the shipping is free. Mm -hmm. So they're buying three items, they don't care. And that's what makes this industry number two polluted industry in the world today after the oil and gas, which is... Which the is fashion industry the fashion is the number industry. two most Pollution-causing industry after oil and gas. Right, yeah. How absurd is that? That sounds, right? So, and that because of us. That's because of us and because of the retailers and brand that gives this free hand to buy that we can buy as much as we, as we want. And that's the e-commerce. It's that easy to buy today. That's easy to buy today, but we're struggling still with size and fit. How it will fit us, what's the size we need, and that's the major issue when buying online. Absolutely. And here in Israel, at least, a lot of times you order packages from abroad and then it's very difficult to return them as well. So that's, that's another... <laughs> that's actually I started the company because of that. My, my son was, was a big fan of an NBA and we order things online from, from major retailers uh, abroad. And it came to Israel and we couldn't return it. But this was sometimes didn't just actually didn't fit. So we're donating it to neighbors and, and, and to friends and... Uh, yeah, yeah, I know how that goes. <laughs> Everybody been there. And so I have to ask, though, why is this better than just taking a tape measure, right, and, and measuring yourself? You know, I was, I was struggling with the same thing. But then one of the major retailers in the U.S. came to our booth. We were, uh, every year we're on CS and came to our booth and said, we've been asking the same thing. And he said, Ronan, we've done a, a survey in the U.S. households. And we found out that only 8% out of the U.S. households have or know where the ruler is in the house. <laughs> so only 8%. He said, we need that you as a consumer will use ruler, but you don't have it. So you estimate. And you estimate. Yeah. And then when you estimate wrong, we as a retailer pay for it. And you as a consumer lose confidence because once you get the items that incorrect size to your house, most probably you won't buy there again, right? And we're looking, so many new designers are coming on board. And we've done this thing now with, with FIT school in, in New York for Fashion uh, Institute of Technology. And we're seeing so many new designers coming on board. 
and they're starting their own business. They're starting their own business on Shopify, which is so easy to start. And they're, and they're promoting their, their items there. Mm -hmm. But when there is a new designer, a new as a customer, wants to buy and you fancy this blouse or this fancy this, this pants you want to buy, but you don't know the size because the size is completely different. So then again, you estimate and it comes wrong and you stop buying at this designer. And this designer, if you return two or three items, the logistics cost more than the item itself to produce. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it becoming it, it, it becoming industry that it's it's that doesn't absorb its its actual cost. So can you just walk me through the tech? Right, yeah. you take your your smartphone. There's an app that you log into. Right, and you just. Yeah. Scan yourself, right. essentially. You actually move the phone over your body. So we're not using the camera. The thing is that we're using the camera uh, is that you need to take your clothes off. Because if I would take a picture of myself using that shirt, it will take the contour of my shirt, not my body. So that's, that's an issue. So I need to take my, my shirt off, my clothes off, so I will take a picture of myself. And that's a privacy issue. Especially if I'm going to buy something for my kid, or my wife wants to buy a new bra. For example, now we are in, in the U.S., uh, our team is in the U.S. now for working with a major retailer in the U.S. in mm -hmm. Columbus that for lingerie. That's a major issue for women to buy bras online. So we are using only the sensors inside the mobile phone. So once we, I want to measure my chest circumference, I just put, move the phone from armpit to armpit. That's it. If I want to measure my length of my arm, I just place the arm of, against the wall and I'm measuring from elbow to tip of the tones of, mm -hmm. of, of my, of my, of my uh, uh, fingers. That's it. So take you about. It's very easy. It's very, very easy. straightforward. It's very easy. We're doing a lot of focus groups with different groups in Israel, in Europe, and in the US, how to measure it. And we're not doing only um, uh, sizing. We're not doing only measurement. We're, we're building data. So what we're doing, we have uh, uh, in, in the near future, we're going up in the north, in, in shopping mall in the north to measure people. We have focus groups of people. People are coming in, they're getting 50 shekels for every uh, a, peop, uh, a person that's come in to, to get measured, mm -hmm. and we're building database. So next time, for example, you use the app to measure yourself, and you measure yourself in, different, in four different points, from these uh, four different points, I can take about 12 or 13 different measurements on your body without you having to measure them, mm -hmm. because we took your actual measurement that you measure with the app, we take the other uh, tens mm -hmm. of thousands of, inf of people that we actually measured uh, from uh, mm -hmm. a site survey, and we match your profile to the others. And then we're using actually uh, uh, things like big data, all the, all the, all the fancy words uh, mm -hmm. that we can put in to give you other measurements that mm -hmm. when you're buying a dress, or when you're buying a hat, or when you're buying a dress shirt that I need the next mm -hmm. circumference, I can give that sizes as well. Great. Well, this sounds like very interesting technology that's going to help quite a lot of online shoppers. Lonen, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you very much.